Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter at Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show that brings you the best press releases out of the small cap world every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great small cap investment. Now, it's Thursday, February the 14th, Valentine's Day. Hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. We love our viewers. I've got six great press releases for you, five of them that deal with financial results and sales orders. Love these kind of press releases, all from both sides of the border. So let's start you off first with BSM Technology. It trades on the Venture Exchange under the stock symbol GPS. This is an Agoracom client, but the news stands on its own. It's our second big piece of news this week. It's another repeat order. This one is going to be valued about $285,000. This is from a major construction company based out of Ontario for security reasons because they do provide GPS, vehicle tracking, fleet management, security solutions. These companies don't want their identities known, so this isn't a, a, confidential, a confidential deal. What's really important here is this deal is going to involve uh, the rollout of 200 additional units. This company previously uh, rolled out 50 units in January of 2006 as part of a phase one pilot program. Based on a successful realization of predetermined factors, they added on another 450 units shortly after that, taking up to 500. Now they've added on another 200, taking up to 700. You know what we like around here when it comes to small caps. Commercial acceptance, repeat orders from major customers, always a good sign, good for BSM. Uh, what I really found interesting about this uh, press release was the payback for the construction company. They're looking, at a, they're looking to recoup their capital outlay in just 14 months thanks to fuel savings alone. Forget about the security and the tracking and the efficiencies. The fuel savings alone are going to allow them to recoup their costs in just 14 months. That's a pretty big, I like, I, I like hearing ROI numbers like this. Nick Sorella, President and CEO of the company. This is second major repeat order this week. And we are, again, very happy to report our continued success with the uh, confidential construction company as they roll out and expand Sentinel FM to the rest of their fleet. The construction company conducted vigorous testing of the functionality and experienced significant savings in gasoline costs over that time while helping the environment in the process. Win-win uh, all the way around for everybody. Stock closed yesterday at 10 cents. Next up, Greenfield Financial trades on the Venture Exchange out of the stock symbol GRF. Two pieces of news in one press release. First, they're announcing a semi-annual dividend policy. Nice, to, great to hear that out of a small cap. And as well, their earnings for the year ended December 31st, 2007. Let's talk about the dividend first. Uh, this was a result. They declared the dividend. The board said we're going to go to a semi-annual dividend. Why? As a result of the recent quarters of consistent financial results, plus from what it looks like a really strong balance sheet. This follows a special dividend that they paid out back in August 2007. Probably testing the water, saw that, was, that people reacted well to it. Uh, for now, first dividend is going to be three cents per share. That's payable on March 11th to every shareholder who's a shareholder of record as of February the 25th. So I did some quick little math. Let's assume they keep their dividends at three cents a share. Multiply that by two because it's semi-annual. You get about six cents uh, in total dividends being paid out. They're trading right now at 40 cents. So you're looking at a yield on this company of 15%. Not bad. In fact, that's great. Now, it is a small cap, but that kind of yield goes a long way in help protecting your investment and gives you upside on the common stock that you're holding uh, in the first place. For the year end, financial results is ending December 31st. Gross revenues, uh, $5.5 million versus $3.8 million the year before. That's up 45%. Net income, though, decreased to $1.4 million from $1.8 million. But as long as revenues are going up, income typically does catch up. They closed yesterday at $0.40. Cents. Nice news out of Greenfield. E-Digital trades on the OTC under the stock symbol. EDIG, we actually host, they're not a client, but we host a free uh, forum for their shareholders on Agoracom, so they're going to be really happy with the news today and a lot of chatter, no doubt. They put out their numbers for both the... Uh, Q3 and their first nine months. Let's go to the uh, let's go to Q3. First of all, revenue 1.25 million dollars versus 1.3 million dollars, down slightly from uh, from Q3 last year. But the bigger number to me here is the results for the first nine months. Revenue 4.98 million dollars. Call it five million dollars. That's compared to 1.34 million for the first nine months last year. That's up 272 percent. Big number, big jump here. A uh, lot of a lot of new orders and repeat orders, including major European and Asian airlines. For those of you who don't know what eDigital does, uh, they provide dedicated portable 
in-flight entertainment systems and patented flash memory related technology, but those in-flight entertainment systems where it looks like they're generating the majority of the revenue right now. To date, 13 airlines have implemented their systems. They closed yesterday at 13 and a half cents. That's uh, just off their low of 11 and a high of 29 cents over the last 52 weeks. So possibly a good entry point as always. Do your own due diligence, but great news out of eDigital. Next up on the OTC, Avatech Solutions trades there under AVSO. Revenue for this is Q2 numbers, by the way. Revenue $12.9 million, up 14%. Nice. Net, inca net income up to $855,000. That's up 69% and equates about four cents per share. Great numbers there. For the six months ended December 31st, 2007, revenues $25.35 million. That's up from about 24.45, so up, up about a million dollars or so. Net income, $1.34 million, or seven cents per fully diluted share. That's compared to $543,000, or two cents per share last year. So great number, great net income number there. They closed yesterday at 92 cents. Uh, next up, Generation Entertainment trades on the OTC under GNXE. This is a fully integrated, family faith based entertainment company. And as you probably have seen over the last couple of years, this is a trend where uh, you've got companies producing content specifically uh, for, for, religious, uh, for a religious audience. Uh, these are results for the year ended October 31st, 2007. Revenue $9.9 .9 million. An increase of 74%. Uh, Big number when you're talking about last year's 4.2, this year 9.9. .9. Gross profit went from a loss of uh, $400,000 in 2006 to a profit of $3.5 million in 2007. Big increase. Net income, profit from operations went from a loss of five, sorry, profit from operations went from a loss of $5.5 million to a profit of $345,000. Again, substantial gains there. And finally, net loss, that's the number we always like to look at, dropped 90%. $5.8 million loss last year, $593,000 loss this year. That's way down. You got revenues going way up. Pro uh, losses going way down. You're basically almost at break even there. A good sign and m might be a good trajectory for the company. They closed yesterday at 20 cents. And finally, a uh, little resources news, a little change of pace because the, the resources typically dominate, but not today. As today is financial results. But Hinterland Metals trades on the Venture Exchange under HMI. This is an Agoracom client as well. But the news definitely stands on their own two feet because they hit platinum and palladium at their eBay property in Quebec. This is the first batch of asset results from a drill program that started in December. It's still underway. This on their eBay property, as mentioned, which is in the Abitibi region of Quebec. Prior to the current program, they had drilled 14 holes. The highlight, which was announced back in November, uh, was the unprecedented discovery of 1.9 grams per ton of combined platinum and palladium, better known as PGE, over three meters in hole number five. Uh, and for those of you who might know, who, who are following resources, you know that platinum yesterday hit $2,000 an ounce. So this is a perfect timing for Hinterland Metals. Uh, to date, the, the, uh, the, on the current program, Hinterland has received assays from holes uh, 15 through 18. Hole 17 was the highlight this time around. Intersected 0.3 grams per ton of PG over 11 meters. Uh, the maximum assay found within the zone is 0.78 grams per ton of PGE, and the zone also yields some anomalous gold, copper, and nickel values. Hinterland is presently drilling uh, a, lot, a lot more holes. Assay results are pending for holes 19 to 34. They are going to be released as they are received in batches. The company closed yesterday at 12 cents. That's a wrap for the day. Six great press releases for you. Hopefully you found one that suits your portfolio. As always, if you're looking for more great small cap companies, don't forget about the Agoracom Marketplace. Over 80 companies now listed by industry and exchange with great descriptions so you can find the ones that best suit your portfolio needs. That's a wrap. Have a great Valentine's Day. See you tomorrow.